All right, let me give you some backstory so this might make a little more sense. I've never necessarily been an allegiances guy when it comes to gear, right? I've pretty much, if you've watched this channel before, you probably know that I'm basically a strat player right now, but over my lifetime, I've owned strats, PRSs, Les Pauls, the whole shebang. But it's a little bit different when it comes to amps. You see, thinking about just like my guitar playing career, I've usually only had one amp at a time. And because of just like the people that I love to emulate my sound after and the things I like to play specifically, most of the time that amp has been a Fender amp, specifically my first one being a Fender Super Champ X2, which I've talked about it before. It was kind of like Fender's entry level into the tube amp game. And after that, I actually got a Vox Night Train. But for most of the time, I was trying to get that specific Fender sound. Looking right now as I kind of like accumulate a little bit more gear and try and see what selections can actually fit the tone that I'm trying to get, it's a little bit weird. I wanted to look specifically not into shaping my sound like guitar wise, but what is it actually coming out of? What am I actually plugging into? So I went over to my friend Andrew's house and we were just chatting it up and just talking about gear and different instruments and stuff. And he was telling me about the amps he'd used in the past. And he told me the best tone he had ever gotten was out of a Fox AC30. And I was like, hey, I'm actually looking to purchase a new amp right now. I'm looking between, I have a, two guys that I'm kind of bartering with. I have one who's got like this Fender Vibro Champ. And I have another guy who's trying to sell me a Vox AC15 C1. I've owned one Vox, like I've talked about before. It was a Vox Night Train. It was a 15 watt amp. It was about this big. It was much heavier than it looked from about 20 feet away. But this time I was looking for something that could really stand out in a mix, but I still like in my apartment, didn't want anything like to really blast. And he told me that it actually has the master volume knob and it has the two channel options. So I was like, ooh, okay, let's see what this is all about. So this is kind of how it went down. I'm literally watching you sing and play guitar when you call. Wait, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell the people what my amp choices were and what, what which one you told me to go with? Uh, the amp choices were the Fender Champ and the Vox AC15. And I told you to get the AC15. Top okay. boost. With the top boost. With the top boost. It, yeah. Yeah, it, it has the two top boost on it. So we're going with the top boost. I'm literally going to meet the guy in like 30 minutes at a sketchy Starbucks. So, um, a sketchy Starbucks. <laughs> all right. We're going to head out and uh, buy this amp for the first time ever in the history of this channel. We're going to leave my bedroom. I got here a little bit early and I'm excited to actually see the amp in person. I'm not excited to pick it up and put it in my car because it's a very big tube amp, but I might get like really jacked by just lugging it around. So we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that's a, uh... yeah, it looks good. You said it's in like full working condition, right? Yeah, it's absolutely, it's, it's. That's a, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Ugh. Oh, don't worry, it's just me. With my super heavy tube amp, I'm gonna put this down before I break something. There's that speaker. <laughs> All right, so other than the fact that bringing it in was kind of surreal and having like this big box tube amp to kind of play with was really cool for the first time. But the thing I was looking forward to the most in seeing, I think, without question was the tremolo knob. I've had a lot of amps before that have a dedicated reverb and some of them even like the more beginner ones that I've used for like really practical purposes have just had like one effects button that kind of had tremolo reverb delay, like the whole thing, but to have like a dedicated tremolo that I know is gonna sound good on this for the first time, that was one of the things I was like unbelievably excited about. <laughs> I think as well kind of seeing like the reverb for the first time like i'm a pedals guy right i play at churches i need 
5,000 pedals all the time. I have a very ambient reverb. I have a lot of drive going on, but especially like seeing like the reverb right here. That was straight out of the amp. I don't think it gets like necessarily ambient ambient, but like, you know, I would use my volume knob for swells and stuff like that anyway, if I needed it. And then to see the drive, man, like I said before, I am a pedal pedal guy. Every single like gig or just jam with friends, the DS1 has been like the thing that I go to at all times. So to not even have to use that, especially like in an apartment setting where I was really scared because like I said before, this amp is so big that I wouldn't be able to really crank it. But it has the master knob, it has the top boost setting. So if you can just kind of play with that, especially top boost. with the top boost, yeah. Yeah, it, it has the two top boost on it. For now. <laughs> things especially since like I think some of my tones a little bit have sounded thin so I wanted not just to like see what I could do with the knobs but also with like some of my recording gear so I actually got this DB booster from Royer right here that I plugged into it I was told that this could boost the signal a little bit and I think that really helped get more like that fullness especially when I was using like the humbucker I was like ooh. <laughs> I want to get the full capabilities out of this amp, especially like in a recording setting, like I want to do a lot more of right now. But overall, is it heavy? Yes, but that's what I expected. Is it like, the tones are so full, especially like when you think about what I've been trying to get more out of my guitars recently with no pedals. It's just, it just sounds very vintage, especially with the ribbon mic and like I said, the DB booster over here. I really can't like harp on like how scared I was. Like, I'm not even joking, I had new neighbors move in, yet yesterday while I was on the way to get the amp they were like lugging their stuff in, and I'm like they might have a very rude awakening and if so I am so sorry but I do specifically think it was able to get I was able to get a lot of high gain settings without like being super annoying to them or anything so that was cool am I turning into a Vox amp fan I think I am I really like this but anyway thank you so much for watching it was a pleasure and a joy to go and get this amp and kind of like leave the bedroom for the first time to kind of see what's around the world and film outside of here and show you guys just kind of the process I go through when I look to buy gear and try and haggle a little bit. If you're new to this or if you had a good time, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like this amp or want to know anything more about any of the gear that I got in this video, it's all available at Sweetwater. Make sure to check out the link in the description. It's the best way to support the channel if you want to do that. And you won't have to like drive 45 minutes to a random Starbucks and haggle over an amp. You can just get it there. Finally, most important of all, have a fantastic day. I was moving, man, bound and down. Bro.